If there's a system out there, we bought it and tried it, just didn't work. Being at the office doesn't equal profit. We wanted to figure out what are the top agents doing? Who are these folks that I keep seeing put these posts up that they're doing 200, 300, 400 items a month? And Jason and I got together and we were talking all the time, trying to hone the thing. And we said, look, let's connect all the dots by creating a podcast so we can interview them. That'll get us in the door with them. And we found out a ton of great information and it boils down to these three really critical secrets. And the first thing is that telephone. We have to be able to predictably sell hundreds of thousands of premium a month. If you're gonna do internet leads, you need the telephone and not burn out the staff. Second thing was how to copy the best. Anyone could copy the processes of the fastest growing PNC carriers and the largest local agents. And finally, the lead cost, how we could save money while at the same time spending more on internet leads for that volume. Talk about what the direct carriers are doing, right? They're creating all this growth by generating leads that call in, right? They've created their own telefunnel, but they have this marketing budget that's insane. It's more than our own carriers are spending. And definitely we can't do that on our own to create the calls that are going to come in, that doesn't work. But we do see that they're doing that funnel. That's the important part is they're creating the traffic. We need traffic, which is sort of leaving the agents in this position of being a little high and dry. As we interviewed these top agents, we noticed that number one, they would have a telefunnel team that were making the dials and they were creating this massive activity. So they weren't sticking their salespeople that they'd spent training, hiring, onboarding, doing all these things. They weren't making them spin their wheels, making dials because what they found was the contact rate was pretty low, even though you're paying for these leads. And this is one of the reasons why we all hate the leads is that you're just not getting a hold of any. And if you force those folks on the phone, well, it's challenging. So their agents also were only quoting. They weren't prospecting. They weren't hustling in the traditional sense. The most important and interesting thing that we saw was their sales agents had four to six hours of talk time. It was wild. For us, it was like, holy moly, I can't get my folks on the phone for an hour. So what was the impact of that? Well, number one, they had massive sales. They were doing two to three times what the average producer was doing. Across the board in the country is like eight to 12,000 in premium. These producers that we were talking to were doing 25, 35, 45, 50K in premium a month. And we were like, holy moly, that's three times as much, right? For that same base, which is crazy, right? That's huge. We also noticed they talked a lot about culture. So the culture of their agency was very happy. <laughs> the people liked being there, which was sort of unique to us because it didn't seem like our people liked being here, which turned out to be this huge staff retention strategy. And we know that this is one of the biggest frustrations. No, my God! right is this whole hiring hamster wheel so that was big we loved that as we continue to interview them telephone team was making tens of thousands of dials and generating the activity so it wasn't just that they were making dials and connecting but people were calling back all this stuff is happening right and it created this just activity it was awesome this is a big one sold leads were called 20 to over a hundred times everything they sold and they made a massive amount of dials on. agents were only quoting and they were also quoting from the activity so they weren't just quoting a transfer, like if their telemarketers called, made connection, got it over. It wasn't just that. It was callbacks in. All of the different stuff was creating that opportunity. They were just on the phone talking to the people they were quoting. And that was the most important thing. Here's George Carbonall, who we met back in 2020. He bought his agency, just started going. And his mentor said, you need to do mailers. So mailers were big. What he found was that even though he was spending 20, 25K on mailers, he was only writing 50 to 60K. He said, I want to go do what those guys are doing. I hate it here. At the time that we were starting to cruise along at 100, 150K a month, and he jumped in. He said, I want to do what you're doing. And he basically followed it to a T and here he is now writing over 300K a month in premium. So it's pretty wild. Really crushing out there. We love it. So that is the first secret telephonals, how to predictably sell hundreds of thousands of premium a month without burning out the staff.